typically we we do this based on uh, alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Off. But I threw it off a little bit because I know that you don't really like the Raiders. Well, that's so, not true. I love <laughs> you, you the Raiders. Like, you don't like John Gruden. I love them being in Las Vegas. Yes. I really don't like John Gruden. There you go. So the Las Vegas Raiders, let's go ahead and hit them up. Uh, seven and a half wins is their win total to go over is minus 110, to go under is minus 120, plus 1,400 to win the division. That is dead last in the division. To win the AFC, plus 3,000. To make the playoffs, they are plus 275. To not make the playoffs is minus 375. Projected favorites in only six games, and they have got the third most difficult schedule in the NFL based on last season's uh, win percentages. Definitely not good. The win total went over in 2020, but they had three straight unders before that. They have got the most difficult schedule in the NFL based on projected win totals. That is not good. I mean, this schedule is pretty brutal, man, when I'm looking at it. I mean, it's just... It's really hard. Start off with the with the Ravens on Monday night. Head to Pittsburgh. Then you got the Dolphins and the. Char- I mean, it's just it's absurd. It's absurd. They uh, the offensive line has been a strength for the last two seasons, and they traded away their center, their guard, and their right tackle. So I don't know what the idea behind that was. Uh, they I guess lost the, their left tackle in a free agency. Yeah. Uh, reason for optimism here is, um, you know, they lost the fourth most EPA due to turnovers. So maybe there would be a regression. But I don't know that I necessarily trust Carr to not turn the football over or anybody else to not fumble the ball. So, you know, they were 29th in EPA defense. They did bring in Casey Hayward and Yannick Ngagwe in Gakwe. Hopefully I said that right again. I don't have a good feeling about this team. And when I look at this schedule, I do not see a lot of wins. When I'm going over on Denver, when I'm going over on on the Chiefs, and then when I look at some of these other teams, you know, the Dolphins, et cetera, like I I think that there are a lot of teams that are significantly better than the Raiders. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what the identity is for Gruden's team. I like some of the pieces, That's it. Uh, yeah. but I, I don't see how it all fits together. I'm I'm going to have to go under the 7.5 here. I, I don't see eight wins on the schedule. This team has had more top-tier draft picks, first, second, third-round draft picks, than any organization in the last three years. And they ain't close. They have whiffed on almost all of them. Almost all of them. They've reached been, for everything. Have been bust. It's not yeah. just re- like this past year they reached. The last year I guess they reached. But like even the guys they took are still first round talented guys. All right. They they just took a bust. They just took guys or they're just not working in their system. One 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 thing or another. I can't explain that. Don't know. I know this that Trent Brown was the best offensive lineman in football when he was at the Patriots. He became a free agent. They paid him the largest offensive line salary in the country. And he was there for two years, and then they cut him. And the Patriots signed him for a dime. Okay? Because he's only – this happens all the time. Don't sign offensive linemen that are great from New England. They play as one. As one together, they are very, very good. When they leave and go to your shitty scheme – it ain't good, okay? That's just not how it works. <laughs> Stop signing them. Anyway, I, John Gruden is not a bad coach. I don't I don't personally like John Gruden. Sim, it's not, it has nothing to do with his coaching. Nothing to do with his coaching No, he just ruined Monday Night Football for he you. He ruined Monday Night Football for a decade. My life. My favorite show in the world that I watch every week. He ruined it. <laughs> Over 10 years. Pissed me off. I hated him. Anyway. Has nothing to do with it. He's not a bad coach. I think if we were to rank coaches, he would maybe finish like in middle back, maybe top of the half, like not even a bottom half coach. He's not a bad coach. I don't know what they're doing with building this team. And he has his fingerprints all over. I think Mike Mayock is a pretty good player analysis guy. I, I might be wrong on that. Maybe Mike is terrible. Maybe he's the problem. I don't know the answer. That's But I just feel like all these answers that are all these players are taking, I don't understand it. The way they're building the team, I did it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not a genius. I don't do this for a living. I would like to one day learn how these teams are built. That'd be a dream job of mine. This doesn't make sense. That's I'm glad I'm not the only one. Right. And I I feel like you and I together are not the only two. 
No, I think I think it's pretty universally known that there's a lot of people out there that are smart and know what they're talking about, and they've covered the league, so they're way more informed than you and I are. They actually have real sources that are tied in these things that look back and say, we don't know what the fuck is going on here. Well, I mean, think of it. They, they've had an exodus of executives, like front office guys that have just, like, retired, like, decided, yeah, you know what, I don't feel like dealing with now, this anymore. do you think that's a nobody wants to work with Mark Davis, or do you think nobody wants to work with John? I don't know. I don't, Maybe look, both. Look, Mark Davis is a weird-looking guy. I have no idea how you have that much money, and you don't have one person close enough to you in your life to tell you that's a bad fucking haircut. You need to stop <laughs> it. Stop it right now, okay? Not one for You don't have a single friend that's not paid for. It's why if I ever got a lot of money, I'm never getting new friends. And all my old friends better still tell me what's up, okay? Because right now you'd tell me if I had a shitty haircut. I would. Like, like this is... Anyway, I don't know what's going on. But he doesn't seem like a very difficult guy to work with. He doesn't seem like his dad. Okay. It, oh, now, now, he's not nearly as in front of the media as his dad was. So we don't know a lot about him. But I just feel like they didn't have this exodus problem before Gruden got there. And maybe they didn't pay enough attention to it. But now that they're in Vegas, I, I'm emotionally invested in wanting them to be good, wanting them to be fun, wanting them to be a team I want to go see because I'd want an excuse to go spend an October weekend in Vegas. Yeah. There's some, like some rooting for the home teams. There's some there's some fun games in Vegas this year. I know, but I want to I, I want to go to a game where I want to cheer for the home team. I not, I not I'm not opposed to going and rooting for the away team. That doesn't bother me, but that's like a place like that stadium, as cool as it is, like, I want to experience it, and I want to be one with the crowd. I want to be there and, like, lock and step and arm with all these people. Uh, Sunday, uh, October 24th, they play the Eagles at home. Yeah, but I'm not going to Vegas to see an Eagles-Raiders game. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I got shit to do. That is true. You know me. I'm also not going to go when it's not a primetime game. But that, then, well, I, was, I, would say, I would say Monday, September 13th, because... They're playing the Ravens, and that's opening weekend. But you know, uh, I, don't, I, I, hey, I I can't go this year. I don't have the, I don't have the money. I just got back from Chicago. I don't have the money. Yeah, their their only Thursday game is at Dallas this year, so that's a shame, crying shame. So we're both going under the uh, the Exodus, by the way, for the front office. Uh, I believe it's up to four executives now that have left. I mean, it's just. Do you think that's John, or do you think that's Mark? Or is it Mayock? She's in I, so I don't see. I don't get that from him. He was on ESPN. He was on TV too much. We'd have enough tape of him to know if he's a prickly guy or not. I think. I mean, I think it's got to be Mark. You think it's Mark over? I, I think it's got to be Mark. So they, their CFO, their club controller, their VP of strategy and business development, and the former team president. Yeah, okay. those guys would all be not football guys. That, that's this seems like Mark. That, like, that yeah. Uh, that's just it's, it's just crazy. I know his dad was an asshole and really hard. I mean, he's a legend in the game. He's just really hard guy to work for. Yeah. Just, I mean, it's, it's not a, always a bad thing, I guess, but super successful dudes are really hard to work for. Jason Cole, who is on the Pro Football Hall of Fame Selection Committee, he's had the inside scoop on the Raiders for a while. He said that they are in the process of hiring an outside law firm to deal with whatever issue is at the center of at least four top executives being dismissed or leaving the team. So they all resigned, but apparently some of them might have been pushed out. But I have no idea. I have no idea. Here we go. Here we go. Lots of theories on why Bedane left, who's uh, the former team president. He didn't approve of some of the spending by owner Mark Davis in the midst of a disastrous first financial season in Las Vegas. Uh, He said he was tired of the nonstop pace of running a franchise in a new city, and he and Davis were having significant disagreements on the direction of the franchise at a time when money was tight. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, I guess. It's his money. You have a job where you're spending that guy's money. Yeah, and, and you're telling him, hey, you don't need to do this. And he's like, I've got the money. Go buy that WNBA team. I want yeah, it. I want like, it. I don't care. <laughs> Mark, I'll, I'll come be the team president. So I might just give me a couple of weeks. Teach me how to be the team president. Tell me what you want me to do. I'll do it. I'll you do it really you well can knock too. it out, and you will be honest with him about his haircut. Oh, we're going to get him a good haircut. I first thing that. we're the first thing we're doing is this is just a, not even on the clock, man. That is just free of charges. 
I'm going to find you a badass barber, and we are coming out of there with a dank ass haircut. That's what I'm talking about. That we is what I'm talking about. And we're going to get you a haircut. <laughs> we're doing, Mark. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Is there anything that's broken that we need to hit on? Did we ever give our stats for the Raiders? I'm going under. You're going under. Yeah, yeah, we're both. Yeah, both I got going this under. team like five and twelve. Yeah, I, I'd I, like to see them, but I, I really do like them. I like the Raiders. Yes. I don't like John Gruden. But I like the Raiders. Yeah, you like the Raiders, but it, there's Check no. I can't ball. find wins. Well, that I don't know what they're football wise. I just don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, well, yeah. But that's, I mean, like I need a game plan. I need to see you're, you're taking all these pieces. You're throwing a bunch of shit in a pot and stirring it up and hoping it tastes good. I mean, listen, listen, to these road like games. Ass. listen to these road games, man. They got oh, at no. Indy. They, got, they at definitely Cleveland. got screwed by the schedule. Yes, at Dallas, uh, which who knows at this point. Uh, I don't know about the Giants, but I don't know that that one's going to be easy for them. At Denver, uh, at the Chargers, of course, at the Steelers. And I mean, you got Baltimore and Miami and Chicago at home. I mean, that, it's just tough, man. It's a, a tough, tough slate. And then Cincinnati, and if Burrow's healthy, like I expect them to be better. Like I, there's just not an easy win on this schedule anywhere. So Cincinnati's not a good football team, but Cincinnati, I, you can't definitively say Cincinnati's worse than them. No, you're not right, right now. Not the way they've been ran. No, no, I, I don't think they are. And here's the thing: I think John Gruden's a lot better coach than Zach Taylor. I think so like, too. Like, 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 not even close. If they could just switch teams, switch roles. I'd like that situation a whole lot better. John, you're going to have to take a massive pay cut because you're not worth $10 million a year. I you got that right. I told you you were. This has got to be a guy that was raised with an unbelievable mom, right? Yes. It's only people who are raised with great moms who think they're worth a million bucks, right? Yes. Like I was, my mom, my mom's great. My mom loves me to death, but she, she didn't spend her life telling me I was good at things, okay? <laughs> you knew I sucked at something. It was pretty clear by everybody in my family. You suck at that. Okay. Are you are you He's trying got, to say that Mark Davis is a mama's boy? No, I'm telling you that John Gruden, oh, John Gruden. is a mama's boy. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you that John Gruden, because how do you have the balls to walk into an NFL place and say, I, I don't have the self-esteem to say I am demand $10 million a year. No other coach is making this much money, but I think I'm worth it. I'd walk in and be like, what are all the coaches making? I don't, well, I don't the blame him for that. The top is 10, the lowest is 7. I'd be like, mm, I'll do it for three and a half. How about, what, what how about, about we do this? that? And if I do really good, you can pay me what you think I'm worth. Hold on. Let's let's look at it from this angle. He was making six and a half at ESPN, and he wasn't having to coach. There was no pressure. He was just no, doing the ESPN but, but thing. I, hang on. I don't think he was going to. I think he saw the writing on the wall at ESPN. He wasn't going to keep making six and a half. So you can't use that number to negotiate against. I mean, he did with everybody in the world the knows that six and a half was going to go down because ESPN was cutting everybody at that time. Well, yeah, shortly but, after he left, everybody, nobody's gotten six and a half since him. Well, I mean, Stephen A, but he ain't calling games, so no, yeah, Stephen no, A. Is he's on that like network. 10. He's on that network every day. Yeah, for no, multiple hours a day. No, John Gruden, like uh, he, like he I don't have it. the self esteem to do that. I don't. Either. I think I'm the best flooring guy in the Memphis area, Gary. And I still give my shit away because I don't have the self-esteem to walk into somebody's house and say, you know what? I'm better than everybody else. I'm going to charge more because my work is better. I don't, I don't have the self-worth to do that. And yet some people do. Gruden for sure went in and got $10 million a year. He ain't got no problem. I, I'm for baffled 10 years. by people who, who think I, I'm, I'm just going to ask for a lot more than what I'm worth. I just don't know where the balls of do that come from. Maybe I'm a coward. Maybe, he signed maybe it's a, low self-esteem. He signed a nine-figure deal to be the coach. Like, that is insane. And it ruined it ruined my day because I was so excited about the Raiders. I oh, love no. Blackjack Del Rio. Go into Vegas. Blackjack and Del it, it just It was perfect. I was upset. I didn't like it. It was perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.